Hi, today we are here at Hatch 1121 in Lake Worth Beach. Welcome to the fourth annual community show. The community show features Lake Worth Beach artists in a variety of mediums. This year we had over 25 artists submitting more than 60 pieces for the show. Today we're going to talk to one of those artists, and I'm, well, I'm pleased to welcome Gloria Graham Sosoli. <laughs> Solecito. Solecito, sorry, I looked at it and I went and looked at it. So right now we're standing next to a work called String Theory. Hi, Glo, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Peter. Great. I heard during the opening last couple weeks ago that someone asked you, how do you create your work? Can you tell us about the work? Yeah, well, first of all, I did create these three elements uh, during lockdown. And... Um, they were inspired by many different things. I have been long attracted to embroidery for many reasons, but not in a traditional sense. Uh, I like that it is a woman's art going way back, and I like the symbolism of the threads um, connecting. So that is one inspiration. The background of these is watercolor. I use water from the Intracoastal where I live in here in Lake Worth Beach. And I'm always inspired by the women artists who have come before me. So when I look at this one, for example, I think of Eva Hesse. And if you don't know who she is, you should Google her. It's H-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, Eva. And when and some of these other ones, to me, have a little bit of a spiritual theme, and that reminds me of Hilma Af Klimt, who you definitely should look up. So when the show came up, I created the background and decided to, to unite the three pieces, and the background is acrylic, and it pulls from all the colors in the pieces, and that's what it is. Cool, cool. So it took a while to figure out, you know, the technique. A lot of people think artists to make one and it's done. No, it, it, take, it took a long time. I just thought about, to me, it has to mean something to me. Um, so concept is kind of important. And uh, it's intuitive also. It's, sometimes I just can't explain it in words. So. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to, sometimes to, mm -hmm. when I have a gallery, people will mm -hmm. say, what does the artist mean? And he's not here to say, and, yeah. or she's not here to say, I and mean, yeah. sometimes it's just untitled number and one. And what you get from it. And I'm also really inspired by Florida. So other than the water from the Intracoastal, these um, shells are also uh, local, what I picked up. Great, great, well, thank you for sharing about that. Glow's been around um, Lake Worth for a while, so Lake Worth Beach has a reputation as an artist haven. How do you feel to be part of that? Oh, I'm, I'm honored. I love Lake Worth Beach. Uh, I love the, the creative freedom that I feel here. And uh, I wouldn't be anywhere else. Yeah, it's sort of nice to have a show where you see all your people yeah, that yeah. you may not even know are artists. Yeah, that's equal opportunity. It's not, um, you know, it's, it's for everyone. It's for the community, mm -hmm. like it says, yeah. Yep, we have a, and we have a wide variety of talent, and you know everybody gets to enter, and everybody got a piece in the show. So um, one thing I, you know, as we move forward with vaccines with COVID, is what do you think is going to happen in the art community once we can get co get past COVID? Well, the first thing that comes to mind for Lake Worth Beach is um, the Street Painting Festival, which is our our signature event. So luckily it's outdoors and hopefully with uh, more vaccines happening, that's something that we'll get back to, even if maybe it's on a smaller scale to start with. So I think that's gonna be really important for us. Thank you. Well, Gloria, thanks for coming in and thanks for being part of Lake Worth Beach community and a Lake Worth artist. Thank you, Peter. Thank you to Hatch 1121.